So let's take a look at how we can utilize some of the features within Google Translate in order to make sure that the documents that we're creating are accessible to students both in English and in Welsh. And obviously, this also applies if you want the same information in any languages at all. And it really is pretty simple to do if you think about the workflow on your device. So I'm going to open up pages and here's some writing that I think would be really, really useful to have in both languages. Now, I've written it out in English within pages and I'm simply going to slide up from the bottom of the screen to expose my uh, doc. I'm going to tap and hold on Safari and drag that so that I have a split screen. And now I'm going to type in Google Translate and I'm going to go ahead and open that on my device. Now, the nice simple process that I can go through here is if I select that text, I can drag that into the box and you'll see that that instantly translates that for me into Welsh, where I can then select this, oops, try that again, select this text and do the same in reverse, drag that back onto the page and then I have that translated. Now it's copied it in the format that it was in in Google. So I can very easily just uh, select all of that text again, and I can just make sure that all of that text is actually in the style that I want that style to be in. Now, the other thing that you'll notice on the page at the moment is everything is underlined. Now, this is another feature um, of the iPad. I've currently got this set to have an English keyboard, which means that it's not recognizing any of the Welsh spelling, but I can quickly change that. If I go to settings, and I go to keyboard under general and in the keyboards if I add a new keyboard and choose to add in the Welsh keyboard which obviously is towards the bottom under W when I go back into that text and I select my keyboard on the screen you'll see that in the bottom left corner I have a little world icon and if I scroll through this, you'll see that I get the option to have the Welsh keyboard. And at that point, all of the text then doesn't have the underlining. It's recognizing it as being Welsh language. So therefore, you don't need to be distracted by thinking everything has been misspelled all the time. So there we go. A really, really quick way of translating your work, putting it into dual languages, playing around with that text. And then, like I said, simply changing the formatting so that it makes a little bit more sense, nice and simply on your, your screen to be able to provide access for learners in dual languages.